The first of my maternal family to immigrate to America was one Mr. Yon, his wife Carolyn, and their two children Godfrey and Lewis. They came over via ship in 1835 from western Germany, where they had lived in the providence of Scholterstern in the town of Volmeres. Unfortunately, Mr. Yon would not make it to America and was subsequently buried at sea. The rest of the family would settle in Perry Township, Lawrence County, Pennsylvania. Lewis would go on to become a weaver and Godfrey a farmer and Sunday school teacher. The boys married the Schwick sisters, Nancy and Lucinda, from Beaver County, Pennsylvania, and they started families. Not all of their children would make it, which was very commonplace in those times, but my family would also be subjected to the harsh times of the Civil War. We fought on the side of the Union, but Jan Jr. would be captured and put in Andersonville Prison, which was notoriously brutal to soldiers, where he would die. The prison was only operational for 14 months, and during that time, of the 45,000 soldiers held there, 13,000 would die from disease, poor sanitation, malnutrition, overcrowding, and exposure to the elements. I can trace my direct lineage through Louis Yon and Nancy Schwick. They would have a child in 1851, Martin Luther Yon, who would later marry Belinda Cable, and they would have a child in 1876, Clarence W. Yon, who would marry Elizabeth Sweeney, and they would have a child in 1909, Evelyn Yon, who married twice, but had a child with Howard Springer in 1928, Ruth Springer who married twice, but had a child with John E. Kunkel in 1952, Belinda L. Kunkel, who is my mother. Up until then, my brothers and I were the only members of our family born outside of Pennsylvania. And in my lifetime, we still owned an acre of land in Elwood City, Pennsylvania, which is about 30 miles outside of Pittsburgh. My mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and my great-aunt Phyllis would move west in 1955. They would live in Cleveland, Ohio for about a year before making it to San Francisco. My mother's only real memory of Ohio was throwing a snowball in her mom's face, which is very much on par with our family of jokesters. These brave women would make it to San Francisco late in the year of 1956 and they would settle in the extremely foggy Sunset District. My mother's strongest memory of her first year here was the 1957 earthquake, which was a 5.7 on the Richter scale, and was the biggest earthquake felt in the Bay Area since 1906. My mother continues to live in San Francisco, as well as my two brothers, who have never moved out of the city, while I, on the other hand, have moved all over Northern California. I have lived in Arcata, Belmont, San Leandro, Concord, just to name a few. But I've put down roots for the last 10 years in Oakland. I love living here. It's about 15 degrees hotter than San Francisco, but I can still get to the city in about 25 minutes without traffic. The story of our family is probably not unique, but learning how we weaved our place into American history for the last 10 generations makes me proud.